بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله ارسله ربه رحمه للعالمين death basically means that the soul will depart or leave the body and the body will change from one condition to another and the soul from, will move from one place to another or from one world to another the ulama say there are three different types of life so there's life in this dunya then you have the barzakh or uh, the life in the grave which is a different life then you have the third type which is the complete and the perfect life as Allah calls it in the Quran al hayawan the perfect life so as I said, we don't have a problem whatsoever moving from this life to Jannah, the third type of life, but our biggest problem is the second life, the grave. We don't want to go there. We're scared of something. And most of the time, it is always because we don't know what will go on, uh, what, what happens there. Although everything is given in the Quran and in the Sunnah, so the purpose of this halakha is to uh, enlighten ourselves about the grave and what happens once we leave this dunya. So if you are afraid of losing your life, your soul, giving up your soul, this happens every night. This is what Allah says in the Quran. And if you are scared of being nothing or having no life, you were there before. And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran. So th there's nothing new about it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, there are two different types of death and there are two different types of life. Before we were born, before we were babies in the wombs of our mothers, where were we? Nothing. So we didn't even exist. Okay? So this is the first death. Allah calls it in the Quran. Then you became something, a baby, a human being. Then you are again you are going to die. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise you from the dead. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about this uh, over and over again in the Quran. Two types of death, two types of life. So when you move from the womb of the mother, it's a tiny place. Then you move to this world, it's a huge place. Then again you go to the grave, it's very tight. Then when you go to the next life, it's very big. Tight. When you are in the wombs of our mothers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, يَخْلُقُكُمْ فِي بُطُونِ أُمَّاتِكُمْ خَلْقًا مِنْ بَعْدِ خَلْقٍ فِي ظُلُمَاتٍ ثَلَاثٍ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an that we create you in the wombs of your mothers in three layers of darkness. The first one is the placenta, the second one is the womb of the mother, the, the third one is... What was it? The body. The, the, uh, the stomach. Okay. When we move to the grave, it's the same thing. You have the shroud, the kafan. You have the tomb itself, and you have the Mother Earth, which is like the first mother. So there is the resemblance there. So also when you are born, you know you are coming into this world with all the pain and the suffering and the difficulties and the hardships. And you hear people cheering and laughing, MashaAllah, it's a boy, they are hugging and kissing each other. And you imagine all the misery that awaits you, and you don't know what they are laughing for, you know, you don't know why. And when you die, you leave this dunya, you're going to the mercy, to the Jannah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a good thing. And now they're crying and screaming. And so you don't understand. Also, when you are born, you see a big guy, mostly your father, carrying you. And he's doing a van in the right ear, the coming in the left ear. And as we said, the ulama of hadith say, the hadith with regards to adhan in the baby's right ear is weak hadith the left ear is even weaker than the first one but if you do it as dhikr or reciting Quran beside the baby so this will be the first thing they hear there's nothing wrong with this but most likely the Prophet ﷺ didn't do it but if you think the hadith is authentic khalas, you can do it, no problem so when they do the adhan and they come in your ear you look around what's going on, nobody is praying they were just doing Adhan and Iqam and but I don't see anybody praying. And when you die, you see them praying Janazah and nobody is calling Adhan or Iqam. What's going on? So, they say, because your life in this dunya is no more than the time between Adhan and Salah. It's a very short period of time. And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran. When He asks people, when they leave this dunya and go to the next life, how long have you stayed in dunya? 
they say we stay for a very short period of time. It's a day or a very short period of time during that day. So it's like the time between Adhan and Iqam. The three most difficult times in any human being's life are when you are born, you look around, you see like 20 people, you don't know any one of them. So you feel lonely. You go to the grave, you go by yourself, you are lonely, alone. When you are raised from the dead, you look around, you see your father, your mother, your children, your wife or your husband, and you ask them for a hasana or you want to talk to them, they don't t even talk to you, they don't recognize you. Nafsi nafsi, everybody cares about the number one, themselves. So nobody cares about you. So you read in the Quran that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about these three different things. And the fact that these are very difficult times, the birth, the death, the resurrection. And nobody is there, you feel lonely. But if you have Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with you, this is the biggest blessing and grace in life. And now you understand why uh, uh, Yahya John the Baptist in Surah Maryam, chapter 19, he says, And peace upon me from Allah will be on the day I was born, and the day I will die, and the day I will be raised from the dead. Now you know why he is mentioning these three ones. And Isa says the same thing. And peace be upon me the day I was born, the day I will die in the future, because we don't believe he is dead and the day I will be raised from the dead. Now we understand these things. Once you understand what happens when we leave this dunya and we go to the next life, it will be easy for you and you will realize that this life has no meaning, this life has no value. No matter how long you live in this life, it's a very short life. I know the brother in the back there who speaks uh, Urdu, they say in Urdu, Zendagi bahot muhtasar hai. Life is very short. And if Brother Abdullah is here, they say in Somali, Life is very, very short. No matter how long it is, if you live 150 years, it's still a very short life. We'll continue next time, inshallah. Nasa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In yu'allimana ma yanfa'una wa yanfa'una wa ma'allamana. Wa nasa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yuslah ahwalana wa yuhsin khitamana. Allahum ahsin khatimatana ya rabbal alameen. Wa nasa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. أن يرزقنا الشهادة في سبيله وأن يحشرنا مع النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين وحسن أولئك رفيقا وأن يحشرنا مع النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وتحت لوائه وأن يرزقنا شفاعته وسكينة من حوضه وصل اللهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وجزاكم الله خير